What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the basics of UV wrapping and how important it is for your projects in Blender. So I'm going to be working with a box that I created for a recent product launch. Uh, just to go over and explain it, I think it's the simplest way. Let's get straight into it. So for our beginners, the best way to demonstrate this is by using a basic shape. So I'm going to be using this cube. So what normally happens is when we go into our UV editor, our UVs aren't to scale. So what you're supposed to do and what you do see online is say... You just press U um, or go up to UVs at the top here and then Smart UV Project and hit OK. Now this doesn't work. As you can see, it's kind of just done the same thing, but just repositioned them. So this normally occurs when your scaling isn't set up. So when we go back to our layout and press N on our keyboard, you can see here that our scale is all incorrect. So to fix this, we can press Control A on our keyboard and hit All Transforms and you'll see our scaling has been reset. Now, when we go back to our UV editor and we press U on our keyboard and say smart UV project and hit OK, everything is good to go. Now, we do this because in the previous method that we had our UVs on to scale, which means whenever we add any textures or designs to it, uh, they'll be all distorted. Here's an example. As you can see on the sides, everything is not to scale as opposed to when we look at our Photoshop document, uh, we can clearly see that the ratio has been squashed. Um, so this is why we do this. Uh, when the UV is fixed, this is what it looks like. So you can very clearly see that our UVs have been wrapped better. Now, when you are unwrapping your UVs, please make sure to use these settings. So you, uh, as before, you just press U on your keyboard, go to Smart UV Project, uh, and make sure everything is as is. Now your island margin, if you see on the left here, there's a slight little gap between each thing. So if you want more of a gap, so you can just increase that island margin. And then when we hit OK, you can see that it has changed. Now, this will obviously make your UV wrap a lot smaller. So you'll get less pixels in your UV wrap. So make sure that you take that into account when you do uh, do your UV wrap. So yeah, this was a, just a quick video run through of how to correctly do UV wraps in Blender for beginners. I hope this video did help you. Please make sure to drop a like, comment and sub if you're new here. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.